Hi friend, how are you? Today, my discussing topic is HTLS conductor. So, what is HTLS conductor? HTLS conductor is high temperature, low sack conductor. Nowadays, it is being used in the transmissions line for various advantages. Replacing the SCSR Zebra, SCSR Panther conductor as per the requirements and as per the situations of the tower and position, sag, clearance, old tower, all the factors are related with this for the installations of the HTLS conductors because the temperature withstand capacity of this conductor is 250 degree Celsius. It has a capacity of carrying higher power that means higher amount of current can be passes with sustaining the lots of temperatures and without affecting or without um, uh, any further economic involvements through the conductors. It uh, avoid the clearance problem and restriction to use the new and higher tower. <coughs> so the involvement of economic involvement is very low here. Low coefficient of thermal expansions, high young modules, overhead smart conductor. That's why it's called the overhead smart conductor. Few types of um, HTLS conductors are now it is in India or throughout the world <coughs> using for the betterment of our society or to flow the lots of current with sustaining the temperatures. TACSR thermal aluminium alloy conductor steel reinforced. ACSS aluminium conductor steel supported. ACAR aluminium conductor alloy reinforced. AL alloy aluminium alloy conductor. SCSR GS aluminium conductor galvanized steel reinforced. The HTLS conductors equivalent to the SCSR Zebra has a capacity to flow 1200 ampere current and equivalent to SCSR Panther has 800 ampere capacity to flow current. It has a composite core. Conducting materials are annealed hard to increase the high ampacity. We will discuss about the annealing later. Steel core coated with resistance material such as carbon. That is the composite core is formed inside the carbon composite and less sagging property reduced the number of tower installation allowing high span. There are four type of HTLS conductor nowadays we are using type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Type 0 belongs to SCSR and SCSR TW aluminium conductor steel reinforced. Type 2 TACIR TACSR. So, what is thermal aluminium conductor invar reinforced? Thermal aluminium conductor steel reinforced. These types of conductors have been used as a type 1 conductor of HTLS. Type 2 of HTLS is ACSS. What is the full form? ACSS aluminium conductor steel structure steel supported sorry aluminium conductor steel supported it is being used for the type 2 conductors of HTLS type 3 conductor A 
C C R A C C R. So what is the full form? Aluminium conductor composite reinforced. Aluminium conductor metal matrix reinforced. It is being used for the type three and the type four A C P R. Aluminium conductor polymer reinforced. A hand sketch drawing of uh, the STLS conductors. Here the composite cores has been used as an uh, the center of the conductor is a composite core and all the um, other aluminiums are just as like as the annealed aluminium the shape is trapezoidal trapezoidal shaped wires has been here the first um, the first layer one two three four five 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 ten conductors are there the second layer one two three four five six seven fourteen conductors are there and the third con third layer has eighteen conductors are there there is no air gap so if there is no air gap no heating or no arcing will be there it is also the advantage we will discuss about the anneal annealing what is annealing annealing is a heat treatment that alters the physical and sometimes chemical properties of a material to increase its ductility and reduce its hardness so heating a metal above its recrystallization temperatures so nowadays the HTLS conductors are being used for the same purpose to get the um, uh, same tower to abeling the same tower because we are not getting the uh, different different corridors because of the uh, increasing uh, populations the lots of uh, houses and lots of buildings are here and there so we cannot construct the new corridors for the transmissions line so we have to use the same transmissions line for uh, providing or feeding um, our main uh, goal or aim is to feed the lots of power through the same tower or same line so we have to replacing the uh, SCSR Panther or SCSR Zebra conductor with the STLS conductor to uh, feed or to sending the uh, more uh, amount of current or uh, sustained uh, sustaining the uh, 250 degree Celsius uh, heat uh, with the same corridors so this is the main advantage and in the in, in inside the name of the HTLS it's high temperature low sag conductor so no sagging problems will be there so clearance problem of the SCSR Zebra or SCSR Panther conductor will be solved. So high temperature low sag conductor uh, is the most important conductor nowadays for the um, society or for the requirement of our present load. So friend if you are interested to show my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much.